Preparing your cows for a profitable lactation starts with decisions regarding dry cow feeding and management. And none more important than how you feed and manage your prepartum transition cows. As part of this decision, one critical area to focus on is prevention of hypocalcemia. And it all starts here at feeding time. It all begins by increasing the amounts of chloride and sulfur in relation to the amounts of potassium and sodium in the diet, thus lowering the dietary cationic anionic difference or decad value of the diet. Consumption of this negative decad diet places the cow in a state of compensated metabolic acidosis. Compensated metabolic acidosis results in a slight reduction in blood pH, along with a significant reduction in urine pH. The slight reduction in blood pH results in greater sensitivity of tissues to the actions of parathyroid hormone, PTH. Two key organs involved in calcium regulation and responsive to PTH are bone and kidney. First, PTH has a direct effect on bone, stimulating the breakdown of bone, thereby increasing the release of stored calcium into the blood. Secondly, PTH has an indirect effect on increasing blood calcium by stimulating the kidneys to produce more of the active form of vitamin D. The active form of vitamin D stimulates gut tissues to absorb more dietary calcium. Calcium released from bone tissue and absorbed by the gut contributes to calcium flux as entry into the readily available calcium pool. At the same time, the significant reduction in urine pH causes the kidneys to excrete more calcium via the urine, called hypercalciuria. Research has demonstrated that this urinary excretion can be increased 11-fold in cows fed a fully acetogenic diet compared to cows fed a non-acetogenic diet. Calcium excreted through kidneys contributes to calcium flux by removing calcium from the available calcium pool. The large demand for calcium begins near calving with a majority of the calcium needed for colostrum and milk synthesis. This increases the amount of calcium directed to the mammary gland via the bloodstream to meet the demands of milk synthesis. With the proper feeding and management of a prepartum fully acetogenic negative decad diet, including Animate Nutritional Specialty Product, you can anticipate your cows having fewer negative health events and producing more milk, which helps to increase the profitability of your dairy operation. Animate from Fibro, smart nutrition for a healthy transition. For more information, visit pahc.com to learn more about feeding your cows a fully acetogenic negative decad diet.